Hi guys, I'm Terry Carell and welcome to the Copperwood Pork Store right here in Kingston. Here is where all the caterers, chefs and foodies like myself come for everything they need that has pork. Pork chops, loin, ribs, even custom cuts are available. We look at easy to follow recipes that teens, bachelors, moms and those who just love to cook up a storm will be excited to create after they see the many ways that pork can be prepared. So get ready to have some fun with me as we watch chefs and their guests throw down some serious pork action in this season's Pork of the Week. I have Chef Theo who's going to whip up a lovely pork dish for me. And Danielle, you're over here saying, why am I here? here? I need to learn. What do you I'm think? You, you, you need to learn. Yes. So you know that you're actually supposed to be here to assist um, Chef Theo. Yes, yes. good luck. Yes. What you want to say? Yes. <laughs> I'm listening, I'm listening, Theo. All right, so we're going to start off with the Irish pumpkin mash. Mm -hmm. Let me just add a potato stew. Well, we're going to be seasoning up our pumpkin and the Irish together. <laughs> I'm chop. scared. All right. Excellent boneless mm -hmm. pork loin chops. Now, what we're doing is because we're doing it in layers, typically one of these loins would be a serving, mm -hmm. but we're going to cut it in half because we want the layers. Okay. So, let's just cut it evenly in half so we can have it stacked when it's cooked. One day I tried, I really did, but we had to order Chinese after. <laughs> it just well, didn't work out. I'm sure this will work out. It's very easy and pork is excellent for us. Right. It's very tender, it's cooked very quickly. Okay, so we have here salt, black pepper, and Italian herbs with some Chinese. I am basically going to mince my onion and garlic with some olive oil in the food processor. It's something. Okay, stop. Hopefully you're not taking up the skin. I always waste time doing that. What I do is when I cut it, it's very easy to pick off the skin from here. Really? Versus fighting. Aha! Uh -huh. So yeah. And then I will put it over and over and over. You can just leave this there. I'll just throw them in. Actually, have one of those at home. I'd love to see how it works. Time you're spending cutting it up? Yes! Yeah, that's all gone. Oops. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna add at least, say, three quarters mm -hmm. of the, of the minced chop. onions. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I can do this part. Put salt, black pepper. Ah, this is the fun part. Yeah, not too much black pepper. Make sure it doesn't come out chunk here. The salt is better to have less. Than That's more. too much, yeah. What next? Next, I'm going to add a little more oil. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure. Um, that's not so much needed to mix up right now, it's mainly for the pot. I like mm -hmm. to add it from here, let it sit for a while. Mm -hmm. and go ahead and pour sauce. Now, no specialty, you don't have to put it in first, mm -hmm. and it in last, but it's nice to get that roasted feel yes. out of the garden. Ah, nice. And now because oil is in there already, mm -hmm. you, you don't need to add oil. anything. Okay, okay. So that's plain old tomato sauce. It looks like plain. four tins or. Actually, two. Two? Uh, no, actually, if it's two small tins, yeah. Okay. But I get a medium sized tin. Okay. Oh wow. Yes, I talked to you. So you definitely just start stirring around. Mm -hmm. Get in the Get everything mixed. Mm -hmm. Get everything mixed. Yes. And what I have here is scotch bonnet. You can get the pre bought one. Or you can make in the bottle, here. okay. What it is is basically a scotch bonnet, a little bit of vinegar, mm -hmm. and some oil, and you blend it just like I would blend in the base. Yeah. Wow, that's here. a lot of scotch bonnet. <laughs> wow. Yes. It's called angry. Okay. It's not really that much. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Just gonna get it straight off. Let's see. I'm just gonna rest it here. Mm -hmm.
I'm mm -hmm. totally just gonna turn him. Oh wow, isn't that lovely? Oh nice. That is lovely. And it smells really good. Yes. Mm mm mm. Let me make sure the stove is at the right temp. Mm hmm. The Should salt. I stop? Whoops. Oh, I thought I was really good at this, but apparently. I'm going to add a little butter to it. Just oh, okay. Add that extra to salt in. Sometimes you can use unsalted, but okay. we didn't put much salt in there before, so okay. why not? Butter lovers, this is good. Wow. For those who don't want much butter, then uh -huh. that's not a problem. Okay. And wow. And it's colorful too pumpkin and potato. I never thought about that. All right, one thing you have to remember mm -hmm. about pork is that you might see the nice sear and it might seem that it just need a little bit more cooking. Mm -hmm. Remember that when we're going to turn it off, it's still going to take a little few more minutes cooking to cool by down. itself. Okay. It's okay. going to be cooking by itself. So I am basically going to shut it off now. Okay. I use a small ice cream oh, scoop. Oh, okay. I'm going to do one and you're going to do one. Mm-hmm. Just put it right in the middle. Oh, that's cool. Yes. You try one. Now. Okay. I guarantee it's not going to end up like yours, but okay, I'll Just try. Just squeeze it in that side. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Oh, there we okay. Go. This favorite salt. Okay. Then, but since they're all mine, it doesn't really matter. So. Yeah. <laughs> now you see why we call it a Napoleon because of the layers that we're going to have here now. I hear you. Now, now we're going to put the next scoop on it. Oh, okay. Another one of these? Yes. Okay. Wow, Chef Theo, this is really... So you see, this is perfect for date night or whatever it may be. You can yes. do fancy presentation. Excellent. I did now we're going to have I a next it. layer. Even. Oh, oh, really? Yes. We're just going to rest on top. Now, of course, okay. everyone is going to argue, how do you eat this? Yes. Well, here's my idea. You take a picture first, and then you just dig it. The layer and go. <laughs> okay. Okay, go ahead. Just... Oh, that's awesome. Do you taste the heat? Oh, the anger is coming out. Yes, yes. the anger is coming out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Too much? Mm -mm. It's good. My anger friend here. <laughs> and we're just basically... Oh, let me just put some in the middle. Ah. Okay, so it's more for dipping. It's not going to be all on top of the no. meat and everything. Do you want that much heat? No, no. Uh-uh. Oh. <laughs> no, no. I'm good. Okay. Nice, good kind of on top. There you go. Nice. Ooh, In it. this specific situation, sharing is not caring. First of all, the only thing you did was stir. Okay? <laughs> Let us. Ah, no. She did, did an amazing job. Did anybody mashing. hear when Daniel said that she owns one of those and it's good yes. that she's now getting a chance to see how it works? <laughs> Daniel, like, are you yes. serious? It was a wedding gift. Wow. Eight years ago. Wow. <laughs>Perfect pork. Lorraine Fung is here to give us today's pork tip. Today we're dealing with the subprimal part of the pig. We're looking at some pig trotters on this side and we have some pork hock on this side. These two packages you're looking at is very good for stewing. It's nice to cook, simmer it down and then put some vegetables, some beans, some spinners, anything that you want to put on it. Please do not Boil them, simmer them, turn the, the heat down, and simmer until they are cooked. If you missed an episode, don't worry, we've got your back. To catch up, visit our Facebook page.